This use a plane is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power. This is a 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Monday, April 7, 2014. I'm Kmar Jordan. Good evening. Topping our news at this hour, the days of loud, lewd, nasty and crude music blaring from public service vehicles will soon be over. That's the word today from Transport Minister Michael Lashley, who says a bill is now before the Attorney General that will be taken to Parliament shortly for approval. And enforcement. Lashley is also cautioning that Big Brother could soon be watching what's going on in a bus terminal near you. Lashley made a disclosure during a walkabout in the River and Fairchild Street bus terminals today. The deadline for operators of PSVs to adhere to the new dress code. He told reporters he was pleased to see a 98% turnout in uniforms. Meantime, Minister of International Business, Industry and Commerce Donville Innes is not a happy man today on account of a 70% increase in duties imposed by St. Lucia on imports from the more developed CARICOM countries. Innes is adamant that the move will hurt Barbados' trade with castries, and he's calling for a revamp of the CARICOM Treaty to ensure there's a level playing field. I don't think that what existed since 1973 is entirely applicable to 2014. And therefore, my approach on this matter is to notify through our Ministry of Foreign Trade to St. Lucia and to CARICOM, generally speaking, the need for us to revisit that article, as has been discussed before, and to, to have it altered. I think the playing field needs to be laid more level and, and, than it is currently. <coughs> now, St. Lucia do what they have to do to protect their industry, and they're right, and we have to do what we have to do to protect our industry as well. In other news, at this hour, a St. Philip family is mourning the loss of their loved one. The wife and children of 41-year-old John Corbin, who died in a road accident in the wee hours of this morning, say they're shocked and hurt by news of his tragic death. Wife Natalie Corbin and daughter Nikita Andrew spoke to our news team this afternoon. Well, with him, there is never a dumb man. Because he's just, he, you know, he's, he don't get angry. He has been a lifetime ago, and he don't get angry. I, do, I don't know. I've always asked him, what kind of wife am I? And he's always say you're perfect. This time I looking at myself and say again, so fat, like, you're perfect, I'm always, never a harsh word, nothing. He was caring, he always had a smile on his face, always trying to crack a jaw or play around. He is a giver, That's now I have other. no way to make my tea every morning, so I will not be drinking tea anymore. Wow. You made their tea or? every morning, my breakfast, and I had to do nothing. He would do everything for me. Popular entertainer Lil Rick was the other driver in the collision. He escaped with minor injuries. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power. To regional happenings now, the Trinidad and Tobago government rejects reports that a Guyanese national died after he was denied treatment at the Everett Williams Medical Complex last week. According to media reports, 35-year-old Jitendra Sukram, 
who was on a two-week vacation in Port of Spain, died after he was refused treatment at the hospital. But at a news conference today, the health minister, Dr. Fouad Khan, reported the patient was being treated and it was the relatives who opted to move the patient from the hospital. He maintained that Sukram was not denied treatment as, in, as he insisted that no one is prevented from accessing emergency health care in Trinidad and Tobago. On the international front, after months of searching for answers, an Australian ship has detected faint pings deep in the Indian Ocean in what officials call the most promising lead yet in the search for Flight 370. The Boeing 777 vanished on March 8 while flying from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to Beijing with 239 people on board. The Ocean Shield, an Australian ship towing sophisticated U.S. Navy listening equipment, detected two distinct long-lasting sounds on the water that are consistent with the pings from an aircraft's black box. Navy specialists are now urgently trying to pick up the signal so they can move to the next step of looking for any plane wreckage at the depths of the ocean. Let's hope that that will bring some much needed answers at this time. Well, that's our 6 o'clock update. Join us again at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper, or better yet, like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a great evening and join us again tomorrow morning. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power.